Mr. Mr. Brooks, it the wasn't the proper time to do that. That's now the third interruption. With all due respect, Your Honor, every Mr. time Brooks, we, every by time saying we, all due respect doesn't change the fact that you're interrupting me. You need to stop interrupting me. With all due respect, I'm going to talk every time you talk, ma'am. With all due respect, Your Honor, I have no intentions of letting you talk without you hearing my voice over the top of it. With all due respect, of course. <laughs> That's hilarious. Classic. So I, I, I want to ask, was there any, during the uh, brawling, brawling out, mm -hmm. was there any interaction between the driver of the vehicle and Nick? There was. Do you remember what the nature of that interaction or, or exchange was between those two? I don't know. I just remember jumping in front. Do you recall uh, any threats being made towards Nick or from Nick towards the driver of the vehicle? Oh, I do. Rollins. Overruled to my answer. I do. Do you remember what was said specifically? Not specifically, but I remember Brooks getting mad because Nick was coming to Erica's rescue. Ooh, Daryl. Right along with Corey. Me. Do you recall uh, any knife being involved in any of that situation no during knife. that exchange whatsoever? No knife. Were you aware that that was no matter? Why she was ain't the one that said it to that incident. I did not. She ain't the one that said it, so don't don't ask her about did it. Did you at any time have a knife during that incident? I she just said that nobody you know had one. Nick had oh a my knife god! You know what? He did not. Daryl's such a douche. You just asked if any knife was involved at all in the whole thing. She already said no. Now you're gonna ask her specific fucking people when she's not even the one who said it. Nick was. Do you know if Erica had a knife toward? Uh, sorry. Do you know if Erica had a knife during that incident? She did not. As far as your memory. Do you recall reporting that a knife was involved in that incident? I do not. Do you recall if Nick reported a knife being involved in that incident? Tommy, it's hey possible. boo. Do you recall Erica reporting that a knife was involved in that incident? I do not. Um, you you testified to um, drinking a half pint of vodka that day. Um, was that the only thing you had to drink that day? Yes. Um, would it be fair to say that you were tipsy? Yeah. Little buzz, little buzz, buzz. Don't be jelly. You say that you may even don't be jelly, girl. Don't be jelly. You jelly, girl, because you can't have none. That day, acknowledging that you were drinking, would that have impaired your thinking of the situation in any way? No. So, would it be fair to say that you were a clear and sober mind during that whole incident after drinking a half pint of vodka? Yes. So, there, to the best of your memory, there wouldn't be any reason why. You may have left something out or maybe not been clear about anything that happened during that specific incident. Possibly left some things out. Do you remember what they might have been? No. Um, do you do you know the plaintiff? Objection. For previous reasons. So Yeah, maybe one of them should have had a sharp blunt object of some, some sort. <laughs> Samantha, maybe one of them should have had one, yes. Said so if Erica had one, Daryl wouldn't have made it to that there parade. Then Erica would have been in jail, but only Daryl would have been, you know, possibly in the ground. So, you know what? I like those odds. Take one for the team, Erica. You know what I'm saying? You save six plus. You know what I'm saying? That would have been, been the best way. Have you ever seen the plaintiff? Have you ever had any interaction with the plaintiff? Objection. Sustained. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you. Let me retract. Very, very briefly, Your Honor. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Runkle, you met with Detective David Van Els to provide a statement on November 22nd of 2021. Do you remember that? Yes. That's, that's accurate? Yes. Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Van Els, and was asking you about this incident, that when you arrived, you heard Daryl Brooks telling Eric Patterson that he was going to, quote, smash her face in and that he was going to kill her, end quote? Yes. Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Van Els? Oh, that, that's true. Um, yeah, she would get off. As you saw Brooks get back into the red SUV, you heard him say something to the effect of, quote, fuck you, fucking bitches, you're dead, end quote. I do. Okay. Mm, damn, that's a lot of cussing. <laughs> During your cross-examination, um, you repeatedly referred Thank to you so a person that as Brooks. Love you. Yes, the you person do. depicted in the video, Exhibit 3, the person that you chested up to, is that person in the courtroom? He is. Can you point him out for us and just very clearly tell us where he's sitting, what he's wearing. You want me to point? Yes, please. All right, he's right there and he's wearing orange. I'd ask the record reflect the witness has identified the defendant. It will. And I have no further questions, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Daryl, she pointed you out. She called you out, bro. 
She said, it's right there. Oh, did I say it? I mean that. It, that's right there. <laughs> Ick, right there. There. Look at Daryl. Oh, did you, did you, did that make you feel powerful, Daryl? No? Oh. Ma'am, you may step down. You feel like he did something, honey. Hey, Daryl, how you feel like you did? Daryl, do you feel like you did a good job? Do you feel like you did it? You feel like you killed it? Did you nail it? No? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Daryl, you done ruined your whole life. How does it feel? Feels the same as the way your life was already, don't it? I know. I know it do. Good morning, everyone. The court will call State of Wisconsin versus uh -huh. Brooks, case number 21 CF 1848. Uh, record should reflect that the state appears this morning uh, by District Attorney Sue Lapper, Deputy District Attorney Leslie Basey, Assistant District Attorney Zach Wichow, uh, and the defendant, Daryl Brooks, appears in person in custody. Let me talk to you, Daryl. I got some advice for you, Daryl. Hey, Daryl, did you ever open this box? <laughs> I remember earlier you said you hadn't opened the box. Have you opened, now have you opened it? No? Just, you just gonna leave? Just gonna leave all the evidence here, huh? <laughs> okay. I mean, you spent the whole first half of your life half-assing it. Why not finish it out strong, I guess? <laughs> Chibi would care if Chibi cared. But Chibi don't care, so fuck you, Daryl. <laughs> what you got on your computer? Hmm? What you looking at? You watching some you watching your shows? You watching Tom and Jerry? I know Erica said you like to watch wrestling, which is hilarious because you ain't wrestling nobody with your tiny ass. Well you know you wrestle Bubba now, so I mean there's that. <laughs> you ain't gonna win though. You're gonna always be bottom. You's a bottom bitch and you know that. And that's okay, you know that. As long as you know that only you need to understand it. Use a bottom bitch, and it's okay. Well, it's okay for me. I don't know about you, but <laughs> maybe had you opened up one of these boxes, you wouldn't have spent the next thousand years as Bubba's bottom bitch. But whatever. I'd also like the record to reflect that he is appearing in jail attire today. Yes, he is. He's also wearing a mask. Name you would like the opportunity you object, to you state object. that I'm here concerning this matter. Uh huh. Is you concerned? Third party in intervener. Uh, we tuned in it up. In this matter, appearing as authorized representative toot, for my client. I it accept up. for value and return for value all the charging instruments in this matter okay. and make my exemption available for discharge of I all see. obligations and charges connected with this case. I do not dispute any of the facts in the charging instruments and would like to now uh, reserve my rights, if I may. Okay, reserve um, your Mr. rights. Brooks, sure. You just interrupted me within a minute of you us did. starting this case yeah. here today. You I'm did. asking you to respectfully yeah. not interrupt me. That's the second time, so I can go through the list of things that I need to get through this morning. Uh -huh, to put you away forever. Mr. Brooks, it wasn't the proper time to do that. That's now the third interruption. So, with all due respect, Your Honor, every Mr. time Brooks, we, every by time saying we... all due respect doesn't change the fact that you're interrupting me. Mm. Your objection is noted. That part. Right? But. You need to stop interrupting me um, so I can get through what needs to be done. I have right a number to, of documents that I need right to discuss to, this morning. Right to, Mr. Brooks, you do not have a right to interrupt the court. No, uh, was, I will remind you once again attention. of the uh, Supreme Court rule. It's on a yellow laminated, uh, double-sided uh, piece of paper that is before you. Um, I, I checked, I verified. That, uh, it is, I accept and return Mr. Brooks, value, that's right? yet another interruption. Let me get through this, please. I just want... You record. will have an opportunity when I'll, I give you an I'll opportunity. Want, no one else is speaking right. at the moment, but I know me. that's right. Need to stop we don't fulfill. I don't by that name. Mr. Brooks, I am going to keep going. You are warned. You need. It's the exhibities, Louise. It's the exhibities. Need to follow the standards of courtesy and decorum for the courts of Wisconsin. I Chapter 62. To, that's to, another Honor, interruption. I intend to follow decorum. This court comes with a history of Mr. Brooks interrupting. Now this is day four, and every day. Mr. Brooks has interrupted. It has resulted in Mr. Brooks being uh, placed in a uh, neighboring courtroom so that this court can efficiently. I love how she keeps calling him Mr. Brooks, you know. Efficiently, effectively, nice. and with dignity uh, preside over this case here today. I, I object, am well I aware. That's another right. interruption. I'm I, well I aware. Stop talking. Which I have the right to do. Stop. I'm well aware, talking. Mr. Brooks, that you object to the name to that any, uh, has discussion. identified on the information and all documents in this. He is like, I don't mean to interrupt you. Why are you talking? Oh, you still talking? I'm just saying I don't want to interrupt you. Why are you, you still talking? Okay, I, I don't want to. <laughs> With all due respect, I'm going to talk every time you talk, ma'am. With all due respect, Your Honor, I have no intentions of letting you talk without you hearing my voice over the top of it. 
With all due respect, of course. Even okay. case, the your objection is noted. It does not need name. to be repeated. Oh, I will make a record right now. Uh, the court notes a, con a continuing right objection by Mr. Brooks of uh, his name uh, and uh, that he objects to being here. Uh, I know he's filed a number of documents previously related to, to that. Those here. documents I'll are of record. There's another document that's filed. At least two more interruptions just now. I believe Ooh, I'm up to eight. Them. Mr. She Brooks, you're advised down, that Darryl. continued interruptions will result in you forfeiting your right to be present. Daryl, she writing them down. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> in this courtroom where you'll be taken to the courtroom next door to appear by video and audio means to participate. To from the courtroom, in, that's another and interruption. And I don't give a fuck. Me lawful. I don't give a fuck. Case law that I can be removed from the court Mr. Brooks, proceedings in a trial to... and forced under coercion and, 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 and duress coercion to and appear address. in a trial that I am needed. I don't need a horse or a dress. Right Mr. Brooks, there's a proper manner in which you... Daryl said, I don't need a horse or a dress, and I definitely don't need a horse wearing a dress, okay? This is preposterous. <laughs> what you ain't gonna do is put a dress on my cahorse. <laughs> my cahorse only wears pants. Raise objections. You have not <laughs> followed that proper procedure. You are unable or unwilling uh, to abide by simple rules of civility. Well, you interrupt. Back, you you don't wait for Stay anyone money. to finish. Mm -mm. Um, nope. And it will result with Mark. you being removed from the courtroom. Um, so you are, once that, again, right? hit the like button for mama, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, reminded of that. I'm going to give a little slack at the moment only because we are not in the presence of the jury. I'd like to uh, go through ass. a couple of things, the first of which is the jail attire. Mr. Brooks, we, meaning myself and the jail, uh -huh. have made arrangements by mm -hmm. allowing folks to bring in uh, street clothing for you. You've appeared previously um, in a suit and tie, uh, very Madam. appropriate for a trial. If you no longer have those clothes available, the jail has a supply of clothes that they- Look at this old ass little boy in this orange outfit. This is the oldest little boy I ever seen. Like, <laughs> you ever seen a little boy this old before? He's so old, this little boy. This toddler child is very old, is what I'm telling to you. It can also lend to an inmate. The reason we um, make those arrangements throat during throat trial, throat. sir, is because this court has taken a number of steps to shield from this jury that you are in custody. Your hands are not shackled. Okay, there are skirts My around each shackled. one of the tables. I'm aware of the feet shackles. That's yet another interruption. I'm aware of the shackles on your uh, feet, and that's why the skirts are on your table and, frankly, all of the tables, right? So that it appears to be the same for anyone coming in and viewing. Um, again, their arrangements have been made Sammy, for you to appear in come street clothes now, or civilian I know, clothes. I, know. Um, I would like you to appear in street clothes, and the reason why, sir, is to reduce or even eliminate even the appearance that you are in custody. And it is your choice, though. Are you willing to go back to your cell and put on your suit? Um, it is my right to do so or to not do so. And at this point, Your Honor, who doesn't know that I'm in custody? Mr. Who Brooks, I've had many trials with individuals who are in custody. And when I have talked to the jurors after the conclusion of the case, they had no idea. The whole point of allowing for street clothing is not only to shield jurors from the fact that you are in custody, but also uh, you being in a suit and a tie or other street clothing, I think also lends to the dignity of the proceedings. This is mm -hmm. a trial. Exactly. Um, again, it is your choice. Are you willing to go? It isn't like an actual trial day thing. Why would you show up in your fucking orange ass fucking outfit? You attention whore you. Like, he, he like, I just want to wear bright colors. You know, just in case they don't see me because I'm so little. <laughs> They didn't see me the other day. I was blending in my outfit and I was too short and so they didn't even see me. But when I wear this orange ensemble, because <laughs> that's what I call it, an ensemble, okay, they see me just fine, Your Honor. Did I nail it, Daryl? I feel like I nailed it. Back to your cell and be dressed in Back the to your street clothes cell. that you previously appeared in. With all due respect. Change the clothes. I do not agree with that assessment whatsoever. There's no possible way that anybody will not know that I am in custody. I think that's a well-known fact because it's reported on every day in the media. It's shown every day on the news where I am, what jail I'm housed in, and that I'm in custody. It's virtually impossible for anybody to not know. 
How you know that, girl? How you know? What you been looking up? See any of my videos? No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't even making videos until he got his thousand years. <laughs> Mr. Brooks, did you hear the question that I asked you? And I respectfully keep the position that I just put on the record. Mr. Brooks, I will ask you again. Are you willing to go back to your That's cell and into the jail and put on street clothes? I do not consent he said, I ain't or agree to anything that you just stated, Your Honor. All right, he did not provide an answer to a very nope. direct question. Never uh, let didn't. the record be very clear that Mr. Brooks was given multiple opportunities to answer that question. And he was. Um, and I and go back, Mr. Brooks, that's yet another interruption. Mm -hmm. um, I will advise you, sir, that <sighs> at any know. point in time, Where's if you wish on? to <laughs> put street clothes on, um, I would give you that opportunity to do so. You've already heard it is my preference. <clears throat> Um, you've already heard me advise you regarding uh, the steps that have been taken to shield the fact that you are in custody from the jurors. Um, you refuse to answer my question about yeah, whether refused. you would uh, go you back to the like jail. To that's that. another interruption. Um, so based on his refusal and his I choice to come, that's another interruption. Based upon his uh, failure to answer my question directly, I will I take that as refuse. a non-response, but he came to court that here today. That's another interruption. Um, I will take that uh, because he's come to court here today in his jail attire, that that is a uh, choice that he has made freely, uh, voluntarily and intelligently. No one has come to jail to in those today. clothes. This court is encouraging him not to. He's appeared previously Ooh. in his uh, street clothes in what I would describe as a very nice suit and tie, My honor, honey. Um, but it is his choice to not do that and we will proceed accordingly. So while we're on the record, may I challenge the subject matter jury? No, you may not, sir. You need to file a motion in order to do that. Um, um, so, Mr. Brooks, I filed haven't even been uh, responded to. I gave uh, Mr. Brooks, days. you're interrupting me no, yet again. You just weren't speaking, All right, so I, I Mr. Brooks, you are now going to be removed to the other courtroom. To that. I have I'm had a rest, dozen or I more interruptions. I will be shock, off the record while we do that. Thank you, I don't agree to a stop. Well, I move for a motion to dismiss for being under duress and being coerced into a contract that I, that I did not consent or agree to. Oh, you did it, Daryl. You did it. The things you said, they made so much sense that now you get to go home. That's what it probably looks like in your weird fucking imagination. <laughs> it's not what happened, of course. <laughs> but, you know, nice try. By nice try, I mean, what the fuck were you thinking? It was like, got him. Oh, I have Darryl. a right to be present for trial. You got a right? You got to fight for your right to party?